Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is a follow-up video to my last video which was Learn Lightroom 5 Part 6. We did the spot removal tool and the reason why I'm um, following it up with this video is because I forgot to show you one thing in the last video and there's um, also there was a problem I was having in that last video and um, I through Adobe I figured out a fix for it so I wanted to talk to you about that. First the one thing I forgot to show you um, this is my son Joe we, in that last video you could see all these little circles here we, we removed all these spots. Um, the one thing I forgot to show you is if you just wanted to delete a bunch of spots I told you before you could hover over a spot or select a spot I should say by uh, hovering over it and pressing uh, enter um, you could just hit the delete key. I showed you that, but if you want to um, get rid of a bunch of spots at once, if you hold in the Alt key, you can see how your cursor turns into a pair of scissors. Then you just drag and it drag over all the spots you want to get rid of, and it just gets rid of them all at once. So you go on to the next one, and remember we got rid of a couple trees in the corner here. You could just go like this. Hold the Alt key in and drag. Over here we got rid of a out of a weed. Hold the Alt key and drag. Got rid of it. Now the one thing you might remember when I went on this picture my mouse started getting a herky-jerky. It's doing it now. It won't, it's smooth, it's not smooth. I can't move it. I was getting rid of a flagpole that was going up right here. Um, what I found out through Adobe is the reason why it will do that is in, in the lens corrections if you have enable profile corrections checked it, w it will do that and the reason being is I guess um, when you click enable profile collections it uses a lot of memory in the computer and a lot of resources to correct the photograph um, so also, the spot removal tool uses a lot of memory and resources. So, if you have enable profile corrections checked, um, and then you go to the spot removal tool, you could get that herky jerky mouse action. So, Adobe recommends that you enable profile collections later in your workflow, flow, and you do the spot removal tool earlier in your workflow. So, I just wanted to pass along that fix to you if Adobe. Um, or if you um, have a problem where you're trying to do spots and you really can't even get this cursor to stop over where you want it to stop it's like bouncing all around um, just uh, unclick enable profile collection corrections and then it should correct it you'll be nice and smooth and can move it wherever you want so that's it this just like I mentioned a follow-up video to learn Lightroom 5 part 6 the spot removal tool and um, Stop by anthonymorganti.com. I got a lot of videos over there. I got a lot of training videos now on Lightroom, and I got um, other videos on learning photography. And um, I appreciate you coming down. And please um, subscribe to the videos uh, at YouTube, and um, click like and comment on them, and and um, I'll answer anyone's questions. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. And um, in part six. Or I'm sorry, part seven of Learn Lightroom 5, uh, which would be out in a day or so. Um, we're going to actually do a portrait in Lightroom, how I, uh, my workflow for a portrait. And be looking for that real soon. So again, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, visit the website, anthonymorganti.com. And please subscribe to the videos. Thanks.